Good morning, everyone. Here are your news headlines. Nearly one week after a Riverside High School student was killed in a hit and run crash, police are still looking for the driver. Michael Prince Walton was on his way to take the ACT last Saturday when he was hit just a few blocks from his high school. Students at Riverside High will wear red today to show their love for Michael. The senior class and his basketball team will also have a memorial ceremony early in the day. Michael's funeral is tomorrow morning at Philippian Community Church. The family is asking everyone to wear shades of blue. They are hoping to see royal blue. The number of COVID cases here in Duval County Schools since the first day of school is higher than last year's total. The district reported 2,498 cases for the 2020-21 school year. The update now brings this year's total to 2,516. Nearly 90% of the cases reported this school year are students. So far this year, just over half of all DCPS cases have been in elementary schools compared to about 40% last year. Well, the city of St. Augustine says it is temporarily suspending the recycling program because they just don't have enough workers. For residential customers, service will stop Monday, October 4th. The last week for regularly scheduled collection will be the last week of this month. The city of St. Augustine also says it is working to bring the recycling services in-house and they'll keep residents updated. Have a great Friday.